The life-changing magic of tidying up. Welcome to my channel. My name is Samuel and I want to make self-growth normal. If you want to make self-growth normal because I don't want to do it alone and I've never met anyone before who doesn't want to make self-growth normal, then make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And also with ranking and all this other stuff and I really appreciate it because so much work goes into making these videos. The author, Marie Kondo, says that she knows tidying can transform your life. Based on her first and last name, her method is the KonMari. The KonMari method. K-O-N-M-A-R-I-E. And this book has such a unique concept. In the beginning, however, when she talks about her clients and her course in reviews, where people give it like one star or two stars, and they say it's like too sales pitchy or like condes not condescending, but too... Hockey. This is just about always the beginning and probably eventually the end of what gives off that impression. However, let me speak a little bit on the rest of the book because if it's about something like how to clean up your room or workspace, dude, that is so niche. Like where is the gold in this book? Your parents tell you to clean your room and they never tell you how. They wake you up every single day and say, Johnny, get out of bed and clean your room. And you never do it. And you never knew why. Who cares? It's just a room. It's only going to get worse if you don't clean it. Doesn't matter, Mom. Don't worry about it. That's why self-help and DIY culture is a thing. I love the misconception busts, too. Like, she says every single possible thing. Every single possible reason you can't seem to get your house in order. Your way of thinking is what is truly at fault when it comes to truly eliminating clutter. But the way we think about clutter is what causes inevitable what the author calls rebounds where you clean up your house completely and then in two weeks later it looks the same way it did before you cleaned it this is the easiest thing i swear anytime i've tried this before checking out the book without realizing how effective it is it has worked perfectly but i definitely didn't do it to the degree the author thinks we should do it decide I hope you're here paying attention to this. Decide whether or not you want to keep something one thing at a time by the category of item and then decide where you want to put it. And that's the only way to do it. I really like the part about how family members will try to help by being like, well, instead of getting rid of this, why don't we just give it to your sister? But then it'll be something she wears once or twice and leaves in the closet or on the floor and it takes up space in the house one way or another. It, it just comes down to the bottom line is just minimalism and the fear of missing out on what would happen if you kept that thing that used to be in your life at one moment in time. You didn't catch it before. When you get rid of things, do it by the category. And the way she talks about things like sentimental items is very elegant. She talks about what to keep, what not to keep, how much those things actually matter to us. And the more you choose peace of mind that comes every day from open space over lack of space because the open space is taken up by physical reminders of the past and the future, the more you will actually gain not just like a sense of like control over your life, but also a sense of not having to ever tidy up again. How to get rid of clutter? All of it's taken care of in the book. I think that the idea of categorizing items that you are discarding, which I like to think means smashing that like button if you haven't already, throwing out, which is very different from smashing the like button, getting rid of, pawning, donating. I think that categorized items that you are discarding than the ones that you are keeping and moving the ladder to where it belongs, this whole method. Her method, the KonMari method, this method is something I think you can easily apply to not just cleaning, but also packing for trips and storing things, for example, which I'm pretty sure she also in depth she talks about. And by the way, going back to the thing about mentioning her clients and courses, I recognize the intro seemed a bit braggadocious. Braggadocious. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. I had those little red dots under it after I typed it out. But it's the intro seemed very <laughs> cocky, like compared to the rest of the book. If you see negative reviews about the intro and it sounds like a sales pitch, I suggest not to let them fool you. Maybe that is because I personally found her stories with clients to not just be entertaining, but also kind of enlightening. I don't know if that's because of her philosophy and storytelling skills sort of weaving into each other and they're like, hey, we're the Japanese Tim Ferriss mentees and we will teach you how to stop fooling yourself when it comes to cleanliness. It's a compelling listen. Some, somewhere toward the end she says, 
It is precisely because we have a home to return to that we can go out to work, to shop, and to interact with others. The same is true for our belongings. It is important for them to have that same reassurance that there is a place for them to return to. You can tell the difference. When you look at tidying up up close, like the author of this book, it's profound to consider why we act the way the we do around these things and about them. And just as, if not more importantly, what to do about that. To conclude the summary, if you guys know my reviews, I will specify with admiration the the novelty of a particular book's ending by calling it a grand finale. I now have a new name for that. I'm calling it an estuary. An estuary is where a river meets the bigger, the bigger body of water, the lake or the sea. And I'm calling it that because this is one of those books where the end is almost like this grand finale, the last section, last chapter or whatever. It's like this grand finale where she ties it into the bigger meaning. Like it's where the topic of the book, the river, meets the greater meaning, the sea, of why we educate ourselves. Quotes. It is not our memories, but the person we have become because of those past experiences we should treasure. Really important things are not that great in number. It's interesting how the human mind tries to make sense, even out of things that are nonsensical. The question of what you want to own is actually the question of how you want to live your life. Direction one. I recommend this book for, obviously, anyone who's watching this, like, that person who needs to learn how to clean up is me. If you are sick of being teased, mocked by others, over your inability to clean up after yourself, almost as if you were taught how as a kid, except you were like, no, everyone needs to suffer because this world sucks eggs and it needs to pay the price. And well, hopefully you get my point. Direction two. I don't know. This is a very, I don't know what books to recommend you if you like this one. This is a very, very, very unique book concept. I don't know if I've ever reviewed a book about tidying up and organizing your environment. But the attitude of the author did sound like a less aggressive Tim Ferriss, again, I'm from the four hour work week review that I did, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. There's a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out and read the reviews, that and all the other books that I mentioned in this video if you wanna check those out too. If there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you checked out this book and you liked it, but hey, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, cause I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe, but if you have subscribed, then you wanna turn up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video. That'll mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I'll see you then.